about today actually so I was on the bus on my way to something that was much less important than this I had no idea this was happening and um, I saw that flag just whispering through the people around it and I jumped off the bus in my high heels and I come barreling around the corner to get here because all my life there has been a question of why why me why this is it true? Is it real? Is it right? And as I walked up from over there in my cookie shoes and heard the clapping as that flag was raised, I found my answer. And the answer is that it doesn't matter the gender on the other side of your mouth. Just as long as there's unconditional love. And that's why I'm sitting here with this colorful thing in the gray sky. <laughs> Hi, my name is Misha. I come to Pride every year because I'm bisexual and it's just so colorful and rainbowy that how can you not? <laughs> it's very important to me because there's so many people that don't understand all the ramifications and the troubles that other people go through. Hi, my name is Reed Hollander and I am the past chair of Lethbridge Pride Fest. Why do I celebrate Pride? because we need to. We need to have an event that you can come out, be yourself, be whoever you want, be around the people who you enjoy, who you may not enjoy, but have a safe place to be, not only outside of our community, but within our community. Hi, my name is Dylan Hargreaves. I live here in Lethbridge, Alberta. I'm a proud member of the transgender community. And to me, Pride is all about celebrating each other and how we're all so different. Pride began as a form of protest, and I think that's still what it needs to do today. We have a lot of change we need to see. We need to gather together around that and realize we have a gay, straight, bisexual, transgender, or any other label that you want us to throw on it. Everyone is unique, and that's why we need to celebrate each other and give them press and for equal rights, particularly for transgender. <laughs> Pride Fest 2015. We've already had a few parties, but we're going to have a very uh, symbolic and beautiful moment for our city today with the flag raising, which we're just so lucky to have a city that loves us so much that they, they fly our colors all week long. So <laughs> I was going to ask everyone if they want to come on in or if you can hear us all right and you're enjoying it, but come on over if you want to join us all over here. So, I have got a, a kind of a short speech for you, and then we have a, a few awesome speakers. We're going to have uh, Chris Spearman, our mayor. Woo! <laughs> and then we're going to have Cheryl McKedden, <laughs> our, federal, our federal candidate MP. And then we're going to have Amber Lee, who is going to uh, speak for us, and then she's going to uh, raise the flag. So, 
Thank you all for coming here. Um, growing up in Lethbridge, you know, I've seen so many changes over the years, and I just seeing how big a group it is out here, and I see, you know, youths and family and friends and married couples and kids and and all my friends and all these supportive faces. It's just it's just been so wonderful. I'm so happy to be chair this year, and I hope that this is like you're all having a really great time. And I just love Pride so much, and I really it's really simple. I just want to like I want to thank everyone who's here who has come out to their family, who's come out to their friends, who's come out to their co-workers, you know, for all of you who've stood up for your loved ones, you know, that takes a lot of courage and that's what this is about. And <laughs> we could take them. <laughs> so I just actually want to give that big shout out to all of you because without you, there is no pride. So you're all. You're all my superhero. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming out. It's really tough to follow that act. Uh, uh, we have uh, some counselors uh, in the crowd tonight. I see Bridget Mearns and Jeffrey Kaufman. Is anyone else in the crowd? Ryan Parker and Jeff Carlson give their regrets. Uh, they asked me to convey they would like to be here, but they have other commitments. Uh, but what I want to say tonight is uh, Lethbridge is a city that cares. Uh, we care about each other. We look after each other. Uh, it's something that we, we want to do and we want to promote. Uh, we, we really need to uh, live the message of looking after each other and ensuring that we're all welcome in our city. That, Today, uh, just a symbolic uh, thing, but it's an exciting day for Lethbridge where we celebrate Pride Week. And uh, I, I just welcome everyone here and hope that everyone feels welcome in our city and is able to participate in every way uh, that they would like to. And I guess I'd really like to thank you. Uh, last year, you invited me to your parties and some of them were outstanding. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and you re there really is a, a joy for life here. And before I close, I see one more person I'd like to introduce. Uh, our new MLA for Lethbridge East is uh, in the back. Maybe some of you noticed uh, Maria Fitzpatrick. As I said, we welcome everyone, Maria. <laughs> so so, so uh, with that, I hope, uh, I hope uh, this is an outstanding week for you, uh, that we get great weather. I'm looking forward to the parade on Saturday and participating in the events with you. So uh, thanks for making me feel welcome as well. Thank you. Hello. I am very pleased uh, to be here in celebration of Pride Fest, so thank you very much for including me and also for demanding that your government take a lead role in accepting and embracing their responsibility to defend human rights, both here in Lethbridge and around the globe. As a federal NDP candidate, I am proud that my party has demanded that Canada stand up for human rights, such as imposing sanctions against the Ugandan president for making homosexuality illegal, and requesting a visa ban for the originators of Russians' homophobic propaganda law, while at the same time supporting Russian activists in their fight against discrimination. Here in Canada, it was a new Democrat who put forward a bill to ban conversion therapy. We aren't 100% there yet, but with you and I continuing to work towards a society that celebrates the value that each and every one of us brings, we can get there. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Amberly Parker and I am very, very honored to be here today and to have been asked by uh, Lethbridge Pride to come raise the flag with my, my children. 
and to talk about some of the things that I'm working on at the University of Lethbridge. I am a double major at the University of Lethbridge in Women and Gender Studies and Native American Studies. And my focus is on trans studies, intersex, and those that identify in a gender that is not their biological sex. Um, recently, the United States, as of two days ago, made equal rights, or excuse me, equal marriage, same-sex marriage, uh, legal in the United States. Which was 10 years behind Canada, which we did in Jul July 20th of 2005. But the thing that we need to remember is that this, we've come a long way from the Stonewall Riots, which happened June 28th, 1967. The Stonewall Riots were not a celebration of pride, they weren't parades in the street the way that we see them now. They weren't, you know, us having pride in the park. It was people who were opposing the violence that they faced every single day. So with that in mind, we need to take a look at how we approach today the equality and the rights and the activism that we enact every single day of our lives. We need to make sure that we're not just looking at equality rights as the end all and be all of our activism and our daily lives, that we need to look at beyond that. Um, especially because equality activism doesn't necessarily take into account that there are other minorities within our own community. There are trans people of color, there are uh, gay people of color, there are lesbians of color, there are bisexuals of color, there are people in other countries that are facing a lot more violence than we are and we need to recognize that. So with that, I would like to challenge every single one of you to keep that in mind that Equality and same-sex marriage is such an important step, but there are still people that face violence every single step and every single day of their lives. And so with that, I'd like to welcome you all to come step over here and raise the flag, the flag that includes the colors of each and every single variety of our community so that we remember each and every one of us to not just forget that, you know, there's just the lesbian and bisexual and gay side of things, but there are people that identify in all the colors of the rainbow. My name's Chris Spearman, I'm the Mayor of Lethbridge, and this is... Maria Fitzpatrick, I'm the MLA for Lethbridge East. We're pleased to be here. Lethbridge is a city that's inclusive and that welcomes everyone. Uh, we have a vibrant community here, we have a lot of celebrations in our, in our town, and we want to celebrate Pride Week. Uh, everything that it brings to Lethbridge to make our city a dynamic city, a vibrant city, and a city of celebrations. I certainly believe that in Lethbridge, Human rights are absolutely utmost uh, importance for everybody in this city, for most people in this city. Uh, at some point, it's going to be everybody. 
So we're looking forward to a wonderful week where we celebrate all week and we have a lot of events to go to. We ask people to participate and join us on the parade on Saturday as well. My name is Levi Cox. Levi Cox. I've uh, grown up here in Lethbridge and I was actually born in Raymond and then moved to Lethbridge and uh, just been part of this LGBT community. Since I was uh, 14, I came out, and I just am so proud of how far the city has come and the level of support that we've gotten. And we actually have our own pride parade. And we're having our third one this year, and I hope uh, it's caught on this film so we can remember it and celebrate it again. And again. It's a big year for us uh, with the recent turnover of America now allowing gay marriage, and I think that's just going to help push push the love around the world. Because there are still 85 countries where it's still illegal to be gay, not even be married, but to be gay, and this will help, uh, you know, set a precedent, so I'm really proud of that. Hi, I'm, I'm Thomas McCullough. I'm a 23-year-old male who moved, moved here in Lethbridge about two and a half years ago, continued my education in general studies, and the reason why I'm proud and the reason why I come here to support gay rights is because I believe in human support, I believe in all humans are equal, no matter what, and that everyone deserves rights. And that I'm proud to be here to say that I'm here to support all my friends who are part of the LGBT community, and I'm here to give out support, no matter what. I'm Mary Shellington, and I'm chair of the Justice, Peace, and Social Act Committee at the Kellogg United Church, which is the affirming church here in the city. And I'm here because I believe strongly in equal rights for everybody, and so we're proud to be an affirming church where people can come and get married and, and regardless of, of sexual orientation and, uh, and I'm proud to be able to celebrate. We're going to be in the parade on, on Saturday too, so with a little, well, float is hardly accurate, but anyway, we're going to have a little something in it, and so, and we'll be marching, so, yeah, so that's why I'm here. Hi, my name is David McFall, and uh, I have been, uh, I'm a retired correctional officer. I was a correctional officer for 32 years, but I've been married to my wife for the last 10 years. And uh, I've always felt a kinship to this community because I'm tired of the oppression that, that, that they've always been under, how they felt, how they had to hide, how they had to do things in secret. No one should be subject to that kind of thing. So I thought when this opportunity arrived to get onto the board, that I could make a difference, maybe help uh, get everyone out and show that there is acceptance out here from this side. So that's why I consider myself a very valuable uh, asset in the gay uh, alliance part of, of what I think my role could be on this board. And uh, it's been a pleasure. I've been a year and it's been so exciting. I said I've met some many new friends. It's been just an awesome, awesome experience. Very proud to be a part of this organization and this community. Hi, my name is Cheryl Mahedden and I'm the federal NDP candidate for Lethbridge. I'm here celebrating Pride because I think it's very important that we honour and include all people in our society and that those people are heard. And what better way to hear them than to be amongst them. See that wow. Play.
So, I think that this, I mean, in the spectrum of events that are held in Pride events, I think that this is one of the classiest events I've ever been to. Martinis, classical piano, Levi in a bow tie, and extensions. What could be better, really? It's so classy. But you know what, the other day, Glinda and I, my favorite daughter, we got to talking about class and, and how it's a dying thing. How there doesn't seem to be much class in the world anymore. And you know, I've been to every Pride event this week and there wasn't a single pair of assless chaps. There were only classless chaps. No? All right. I thought about that one in the shower earlier. So we're going to sing a little song for you about that, about class. Hit it, princess. Whatever happened to fair dealings and good ethics and nice manners, Whatever happened to it? No. Why is it everyone now is a pain in the ass? Whatever happened to class? Class. Whatever happened to please, may I? And yes, thank you. And how charming. Now every son of a bitch is a snake in the grass. Whatever happened to class? Class. Oh, there ain't no gentlemen to open up the door. There ain't no ladies now, there's only pigs and whores. Every kid will knock you down so they can pass. Nobody's got no class. Whatever happened to old values and good morals and nice good breeding? Listen to this. Now no one even says oops when they come in your ass. Whatever happened to class? Class. Oh, there ain't no gentleman that's fit for any use. And any girl will touch your privates for a deuce. And even kids will kick your shins and, and give you sass. And even kids will kick your shins and give you sass. Nobody's got no class. Oh, Every one of you. Every girl is a twat. Yes. Holy shit. shit. What a shame. What a shame. What became uh, Because we are drinking so much, we are running out of glasses. If everyone doesn't mind, reuse your glass. <laughs> That's classless, Levi. It's classless. Look at your extensions flow as you run. It's like a horse's mane on a sandy beach. I just love it. I just love it. Are you ready, Molly? Give it up for Molly Duker! I know it's amazing. 
like my boots Because I know they're amazing And I don't give a shit If you don't like my tits Because I know they're amazing
like, okay, your tits fall out, you succeeded, you're trying to get it to happen. I'll show, don't show, don't throw your tits in. All right. Hey, has anybody out there been to Club Dee Dee? Yeah, that's my house. That's my house. And you know what? Ms. Dyke is proof that we welcome everyone at Club Dee Dee. Will you welcome everyone? Are you enjoying the show so far, daughter? So, so much. Oh, so good. Much. What's your favorite part so far? Me. <laughs> the feeling isn't mutual. <laughs> Love you, my dear. Love you. This necklace is gorgeous. Thanks. Thanks. So the next act, actually, is a dear friend of ours, someone that, that we welcomed into the family that has actually been in my life for a long time, since I used to cruise the homeless shelters uh, in downtown Calgary. I met Miss Princess Edward there, and the two of us have been tight ever since. She's been helping me with my recording career and uh, getting me fame at, at her expense. So thank you, Miss Princess. Thank you. I enjoy being in your limelight. Are you ready to perform for us? Give it up for Princess Edward! Standing in a crowded room and I can't see her face Put your arms around me, tell me everything's okay In my mind
us do. Ladies and gentlemen, this man does so much for our community, and I would like you all to show him some love. So give it up, please, for Mr. Levi Cox. <laughs> Levi. <laughs> Levi, we have one more number tonight, and I know that you've had, you've had some haters this week. As happens in a city like Lethbridge, we just put up with it, don't we? Is that your hand on my ass? Thank you. Bring on the man. There was a time, I don't know when, I didn't have much time for men, but that was then. And this is now I'm learning A girl alone, all on her own Must learn to have a heart of stone So I try not to make it known my yearning I try to show I have no need I really do I don't succeed, so let's bring on the man and let the fun begin. A little touch of sin, why wait another minute? Yes, yeah, this way it's time for us to play. They say we may not pass this way again, so let's waste no more time. Bring on the man. Always knew, I always said that silk and lace, black and red, drive a man right off his head. It's easy. So many men, so little time. I want them all. Is that a crime? No. I don't know why they say that I'm too easy.
Sometimes you picture me I'm walking too far ahead You're calling to me I can't hear what you say And you say, oh slow I'm all behind The second heaven winds the end of our show. That's it, Mama? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I think the back can take, because they won't shut up to save their lives anyway. So fuck y'all back there. Fuck you. Let's have a good time. Let's have some martinis, shall we? Woo! Happy Pride, everybody! This drink is coconutty. I'm wearing my best outfit. Everyone is saying hello to me and everyone's so happy and I love it. Happy Pride! We're having the best freaking time of our lives here in uh, LA. That's for Delberta Fries, 100%. What's your name? Johnny Williams. How many martinis have you had? Enough. <laughs> All right. Enough to fill a small boat. Why not? And how about the rest of you? Fantastic. Love it. Such a great, great year this year. Pride's always good. You can't beat Pride. I don't care if you're gay, straight, in between, trans, doesn't matter. Pride's always fun. Me? I shit my pants. I'm having so much fun, I shit my pants. <laughs> I'm Aaron, I have a, a hell of a time. Happy Pride. <laughs> I'm Adam Zalia, and I'm having so much fun at this Pride because I love our community and we're so close and then everyone's loving each other this year. My name is Ashley Northey. I'm having a great time at Pride this year. A lot of my friends were orange and, and I'm having a great time drinking martinis and relaxing. Hi, I'm Dee Dee Dad. Love Dee Dee here in Lethbridge, and I think Pride is fabulous, just like me. Hi, I'm Ron. I'm Nicole. And we're having a good time because we're loud. And proud. My husband Thomas is behind the camera, making this all look good. And I'm here with Joanne, 
wonderful mother of Mr. Levi Cox, the master behind this year's pride. And we just wanted to ask you, uh, as Levi's wonderful mother, are you having a great time, hon? Tonight has been like so awesome. It's been like a really kind of sophisticated, crazy night. Uh, really great entertainment, uh, great venue, great. It's really been so much fun. I'm just so proud of Levi. I'm proud of the whole Pride board that put this on. And I hope that everybody's enjoying themselves because it's been really awesome. Thank you. And you're having a great time, I hope. Hello. <laughs> Where there's liquor, there's fun, right?
jealous because he was totally texting me all night last night and I don't know if it's a booty call or not so like what do you think do you, did you think that girl was pretty how did that girl even get in here do you see her she's so short and that dress is so tacky who wears cheetah it's not even summer why did the DJ keep on playing summertime sadness after you get out of the bathroom can we go smoke a cigarette I really need one but first let me take a selfie What a creep. Is that guy sleeping over there? Yeah, the one next to the girl with no shoes on? That's so ratchet. That girl is such a fake model. She definitely bought all her Instagram followers. Who goes out on Mondays? Okay, let's go take some shots. Oh no, Ugh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh wait, never mind. I'm fine. Let's go dance. There's no vodka at this table. Do you know anyone else here? Oh my god, Jason just texted me. Should I go home with him? I guess I took a good selfie. Selfie, 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 selfie.
co-hosting with Levi here, so I'll be here all day to entertain you. So it shall be a great day in the nice sunny heat. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I heard there could be rain, so I'll just stay undercover so my face doesn't fall off. So we're going to introduce our first speaker, and we have our MLA, Shannon Phillips. Well, good afternoon, everyone. And, you know, this is the very first time that government MLAs have marched in the Lethbridge Pride Parade. If it feels like making history, it's because it is. We have just elected a government that supports gender diversity, that supports uh, equal marriage, that supports freedom for, from discrimination for all LGBTQ plus populations in our great province. You know, uh, we made history in so many ways on May 5th. One of the ways was we elected Ricardo Miranda, one of our three very first openly gay MLAs in Alberta history. Give him a, a round of applause, he came from Calgary. And you know, what we proved in Alberta, and we gave permission to the rest of the country to think about what change looks like. That we're a modern, progressive province, we're a modern, progressive country, where everyone deserves to live their full life to whatever that looks like free from discrimination, from hatred, from bullying, all of the things that are in our rearview mirror, but that we struggled for years and generations to achieve. We are now on the horizon of being able to live in a different kind of province and a different country. And that's because all of you have done the work for so long. None of this was given to us. It is all the product of struggle in our community and communities just like us across this very great country of ours. We are on the verge of something amazing with respect to sexual diversity in this country. And I want to thank all of you for all of the hard work that you have done on that file. Thank you. new Premier, Rachel Notley. I bring you greetings from our caucus, also from our party, and from our federal party. We have our federal candidate here, Cheryl Mahedon, as well, who was also in the parade. And you'll get your chance to have a conversation with her come uh, uh, in the lead up to the October 19th federal election. Hi, my name is Cheryl Mahedon, and I'm the federal candidate for the NDP in Lethbridge. I um, am an NDPer because the NDP supports my personal values, which include inclusivity and the riddance of discrimination and other sorts of barriers that lots of folks face, including people who are participating in our Pride event today. I think locally at the grassroots, that's where change happens. I think in government, you need um, people behind you to support that change. In Alberta, we saw earlier this year when gay straight alliances were under attack by the government, it was the NDP that came forward and rallied and made sure that uh, the government was held accountable for that and a change occurred. Federally, we've seen that an NDP MP put forward uh, a bill in order to have a trans human um, rights and of course that was overruled by the Senate but um, you know we'll keep keep trying because that's the role of government to represent what uh, people are asking for.
is my bisexual. Like Marley Lou Oh, check me 
You never said a word, you didn't send me 